Good morning, students. Today we are going to start our third lecture, and our first lesson of the of Flamingo. The lesson name is the the lesson name is <coughs> the last lesson. You know, before starting this very lesson, we must know the theme of the lesson. The theme of the two major points we are covering this very lesson. The first is that impact of our on our lives of people. It means that क्या जो एक प्रभाव जो होता है क्या इम्पैक्ट पड़ता है लोगों की लाइफ के बाद का ये इस चैप्टर में हम बताया गया है एंड थर्ड इज दैट इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ अवर लैंग्वेज और लिंग्विस्टिक आइडेंटिटी सेकेंड सेकेंड हमारा क्या रखा है कि जो हमारा हमारी लैंग्वेज का हमारी लाइफ में क्या इम्पोर्टेंस है या क्या लिंग्विस्टिक आइडेंटिटी क्या होती है लिंग्विस्टिक आइडेंटिटी का मतलब क्या होता है कि हम जिस स्टेट में रहते होते हैं या जिस कंट्री में रहते होते हैं हमें अपनी भाषा से ही हमारी पहचान होती है सपोज हम अगर गुजरात में रह रहे होते हैं तो हमारी लैंग्वेज कौन सी होना चाहिए गुजराती होना चाहिए या हम पंजाब में रहते हैं तो हमारी लैंग्वेज कौन सी होती है पंजाबी होना चाहिए बस ये दो यही इसकी थीम है इन इसके बेस पर का राइटर जो है एक लेसन स्टार्ट किया है द लास्ट लेसन तो लास्ट लेसन को स्टार्ट करने से पहले हमें इस बात का पता होना चाहिए कि दिस लेसन हैज बीन रिटेड बाई Alfonso Dodi Alfonso Dodi was born in 1840 and he was the French he was a French novelist and short story writer you know in this very lesson the, the last lesson is set in the days of the Prussia Prussia war and France war there was the war between Prussia Prussia means in Germany and uh, there was the war between France You know the war has been started by Persia, and in this way, Persia was the winner in the war, and he has simply he has uh, what we can say uh, he has taken two he has taken two states of France and the uh, Alsa or uh, Alsace uh, and Lorraine. You know there may be the authority of the of of the Persia or Germany, and in this way, two states. The people of the language of the France will not be spoken, but after that, the language of Germany will be spoken. So now, before starting this very lesson, you know there are the two characters are there, two main characters are there. The first character is the first character characters uh, the friends. Friends, uh, first characters we know about the characters. First is. friends friends is a little <coughs> boy and he was the writer of the lesson he was a school boy he was a school boy and he was sincere and he was honest when he was unable to learn the language he felt guilty and after that he after that he felt very much sorry second is the writer and writer name is am hamal am am hamal am hamal is a strict teacher and he is a strict teacher and as well as he is also a very good teacher he teaches friends and he loves his country very much he is a patriotic person you know that uh, two four things i have told you the first thing was that the first thing was that uh, i have told the impact of the life impact of the war on the life of the people and second thing we have told that the language is very important for our life If we are actually bent to our language, then we feel very sorry for that. And then two characters are there. First is the that French, French are little lighter, French are lighter. And second is M. Hamal. M. Hamal is a very strict teacher. Although the student, when he teaches the student, the student does not feel bad. But you know, when for the last lesson, there are many people like him, and many people love him very much because he was. Not only a stick, but he was a patriotic teacher. So now we are going to start this very lesson, the lesson last lesson. <coughs> okay, sir. 
I started for school very late that morning and was in the great dread of spoiling, especially because Anne Hamel had said, uh, Hamel said that he could question us on the participle, and I did not know the first word I want for a moment. I thought, I thought of running away from and spending the day off the doors, and it was so warm, so bright. The birds were chirping, the air of the boats. And in the open field, back of the sawmill, <coughs> the Persia, Persian soldiers were drilling. It was all the score, tempting than the rule for the participle, but I had the strength to assist and hurried off to school. You know, before starting this very lesson, we must know the tough meaning of this very passage. The trade of spoiling. You know, the trade of spoiling. What is the meaning of the trade of spoiling? I am just telling to you. Grade of spoiling. The first word is that it's grade of spoiling. Means fear of spoiling. Fear of spoiling. Second word is there participles. Particip participles. Do you know what is the meaning of participles? Participles means verb plus adjectives. Verb plus adjectives. You know that <coughs> simply when the lesson is going to be studied, you know the lesson start the Mr. Little French, the writer. The writer started for the school and when he was going to the school, he was very much afraid, especially because his teacher, Mr. Hamel, and Hamel has given the homework and homework was based on the participles. Homework was based on the participles, so the writer did not prepare the homework and in this way he was very, he did not know ABCD about the participles, so he was very much afraid and he, did, he was not willing to go to the school. But while he was going to the school, while he was going to the school, that very time he saw that he, that very time he saw that uh, he was running and he was spending of the doors. He was going very fast by running and you know it was the it was a very warm day, the birds were chirping and the day was very good and you know that the and all the open field back of the sawmill was there. There was the there, on the back of the doors there was a sawmill. What do you mean by the sawmill? Mill sawmill means that a mill for sowing the timber. So there was the one mill was there and you know there were Persian soldiers were there. They were doing the practice, they were exercising there, they were drilling there and you know all the things, all the things were attracting to the writer very much. So in the comparison of the rule of the participle, but still the writer did not take the enjoyment of all the things which were attracting to him, but still he did not stay, stop there and he was he was just going to the school very fast. So in the first very stanza, I think you have heard that when the lesson is going to be started, the lesson, the lesson start hota hai, to Mr. Little Friend who hote hai, is the writer ka naam hai, to write, <coughs> Mr. Mr. Little Friend who has put the lesson bohut zada dar data hai, kyo dar data hai, to the reason ek ye hai, kyoki unke teacher to M. Hamel hai, M. Hamel friends ke monister, M. monister ke liye kiya hata hai, Mr. ke liye kiya hata hai, unke teacher to M. Hamel ke Mr. Hamel hai, Homework diya tha participle, participle ke baare mein Or participle ke baare mein Jho writer jho tha Woh ek single word ek series nahi jata Is liye ko school jane se Bohat jada dar raha tha Jab woh raastri mein school dot ka Woh jata raha nahi dar Woh jata raha tha Woh raastri mein se Bohat sari chijen aise mili thi Jho se attract kar rahi thi Day bohat jada charming tha Warm tha Words jipping kar rahi thi Ek saw mil ka doors Begara kula hoa tha Or yaha tak ki Jho wahan par Persian soldiers Jho the Woh ek से प्रेड कर रहे थे वहां पर और इस तरीके से ये सारी चीजें उसको अट्रैक्टिव कर रही थी इसके बावजूद भी राइटर जो है वहां नहीं रुकता है वहां रुकने के बजाय वो तेजी से कहां चला जाता है स्कूल चला जाता है तो बहुत इजी हो सकता है इसमें सपोज इजी क्वेश्चन थे कि देयर हु वाज गोइंग टू दिस हु वाज नॉट विलिंग टू गो स्कूल सो इट्स वेरी कॉमन फैक्टर दैट एवरीबॉडी नोस दैट द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट हु वाज नॉट गोइंग टू गो टू द स्कूल 
because that the little friend writer was not willing to go to the school because he has not prepared his lesson on the participles. You know what is the meaning of the participles? Participle is a that verb plus adjective, but topic the teacher has given there. He did not know A B C D about the participle, and you know participle means verb plus adjective. You know, while he was going to the school, the whole school ja raha tha, so his things were attracting to him. So there were so many things were there. Uh, the words were changing. The day was more personal soldiers were uh, just like doing the exercise, etc. And you know, everything was the uh, everything was very fantastic. But still, the writer did not stop. Why he did not stop? Because he has to go to the school. So first passage is completed. I think second I am going to start. When I passed the town, half there was a crowd at the front of the bulletin board. For the last two years, all over the battles had come from the, the lost battles, the draft, the orders of the commanding officer. And I thought to myself, without stopping, what can be the matter now? Then, as I hurried as fast as I could go, the blacksmith, the watcher, who was there with the apprentice, reading the bulletin board for me, don't go so fast. Bob, you will get to your school in the blink of an eye. तो आपको बताया कि फिर लाइटर वहाँ पे स्कूल जा रहा था, तो स्कूल जाता हुआ, यानी जैसे ही वो टाउन से गुजर रहा था, तो टाउन हाल में देखा था उसने बहुत ज़्यादा भीड़ इकट्ठी थी और ये कितना है इकट्ठी थी ब्लेंडिंग बोर्ड के पास में। ब्लेंडिंग बोर्ड क्या है? ब्लेंडिंग बोर्ड के पास में ब्लेंडिंग बोर्ड ये ब्लेंडिंग बोर्ड था यहाँ पर दो सालों से अगर कोई भी बैड न्यूज़ आती थी तो सारी की सारी बैड न्यूज़ कहाँ लिखी होती थी ब्लेंडिंग बोर्ड पे लगी होती होती थी अब क्या है ये कि ज़्यादातर न्यूज़ किसके बारे में थी बैटल्स के बारे में होती थी या कमांडिंग अफिशर्स के बारे में होती थी राइटर जो है जब वहाँ जाता था तो उसने अभी भी वहाँ पर बहुत ज़्यादा भीड़ देखी थी भीड़ देखने के बाद में उसको और राइटर बड़ा कंफ्यूज मिट्स इलेक्ट्रिकल फ्रेम बड़ा कन्फ्यूज हो जाता है लेकिन फिर भी वो स्कूल इतनी तेज़ी से जा रहा था जितना तेज़ी से वो स्कूल जा सकता था और कह रहे हैं रास्ते में जब वो जा रहा था तो वहाँ पर एक ब्लैक स्मिथ था वॉचर था जो वहाँ पर था और एक हेल्पर जो था उसने उस लड़के से कहा कि कह रहे हैं यू विल गेट टू योर स्कूल इन लाइन टू ऑफ कैम अगर आपके पास स्कूल जाने के लिए बहुत समय है यू कैन स्टॉप देयर एंड यू कैन सी द न्यूज़ तो यू नो इन द सेकंड इज कैन वी कैन से व्हाइल द राइटर वाज गोइंग टू द टॉप हॉल व्हाइल द राइटर वाज गोइंग टू द स्कूल इन द टॉप हॉल देयर वाज अ ब्लेंडिंग बोर्ड वाज देयर एंड व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ द ब्लेंडिंग बोर्ड ऑल द बैड न्यूज़ ऑल द बैड न्यूज़ व्हिच हैज टू कम दैट बैड न्यूज़ हैज बीन रिटन ऑन द ब्लेंडिंग बोर्ड एंड यू नो दैट Last uh, since last two years, that all the bad news has been written on the on the bulletin board, and there was too much crowd is there. When the writer saw that too much crowd was there, then simply what will happen? That he was confused, and he was he was uh, that uh, thinking over the matter. What the matter is now? What the next bad news has come? So you know why he was passing there very fast. He was passing as fast as he could. He saw there was the black smith. There was the washer. So many people were there. Simply, they called the writer and they said that we have a lot of time. We have a plenty of the time. Later, you can go to the school, but you see there is the bad news. You see, you have the time, but the writer did not stop there. What will happen then? In your second stanza, the passage is completed. I thought he was making fun of him and reached and had a little garden all over of me. I thought he was making fun of me. कि ना जब वहाँ से गुजर रहा था तो उसके दिमाग में बात आई हो सकता है ये लोग हमारे मदार बना रहे हैं क्योंकि राइटर जो है पहले से ही स्कूल जाने से बचता था और क्या रहा है एम एमएस इंडियन गार्डन आल ऑफ आवर बेटिंग और क्या रहा है जैसे ही मैं मिस्टर क्या रहा है मिस्टर हैमल के गार्डन में जैसे मैं पहुँचता हूँ तो मैं वहाँ पर क्या था आउट ऑफ ब्लैक आउट ऑफ ब्लैक का मतलब क्या होता आई वॉज गैसिंग आई वॉज पेंटिंग इस तरीके से मुझे बहुत टेंशन आ पा रही थी तो क्योंकि बिकॉज द राइट बाई द राइटर वॉज टेकिंग वेरी डीप ब्रैथ बिकॉज ही वॉज कमिंग टू द स्कूल बाई रनिंग नेक्स्ट प्रेसिज इज देयर यूजली वेन स्कूल बिगेन देर वॉज ए ग्रेट प्रेसिज विच वुड बी हर्ट इन दैट स्टेट द ओपनिंग एंड आवर हैंड्स फॉर ओवर द ईयर्स टू अंडरस्टैंड बेटर एंड द टीचर्स ग्रेटर रोल रैपिंग ऑन द टेबल बट नाउ इट वॉज ऑल्सो स्टिल and i want i had wanted on the promotion to get to my desk without being seen but of course that day everything had to be quiet as sunday morning though the window i saw my class that already in the places and am hamal working up and down with the terrible i had to work under the sun 
I had to open the door and go before everybody. You can <coughs> imagine the I blushed and how frightened I was. So you know, in the third passage we can say कि लेकिन जब स्कूल जाता था जनरली लेकिन जब स्कूल जाता था तो बहुत ज्यादा हंसल बसल होता था हंसल बसल मीन्स देर वॉज ए ग्रेट वायरस बहुत ज्यादा नॉइज होता था गलियों में बहुत सारे गलियों में बहुत सारी आवाज आती थी ओपनिंग टू क्लोज किस किस की आवाज आती थी डेस्क की खोलने की बंद करने की लैसन को बार बार रिपीट किया जाता था और इस तरीके से राइटर भी बताना चाहता था दूसरी आवाज जो होती थी टीचर्स का जो रूलर था वो अपने पास पास को टेपिंग करते थे इस तरीके से उसकी आवाज आती थी लेकिन कह रहा है इस समय आज जो था जिस दिन राइटर हाई स्कूल पहुंचता था सब कुछ स्टिल था स्टिल मीन्स एवरीथिंग टू है साइलेंट हर चीज बिल्कुल खामोश थी कोई शोर वगैरह नहीं होना था और कह रहा है इस तरीके से जो था सब कुछ वहाँ पर शांत था सब कुछ ऐसे ही शांत था जैसे कि संडे होता है इन्होंने संडे का यूज क्यों किया वाई दे है संडे क्योंकि संडे को मोस्टली स्कूल खोल जाता है और संडे के दिन में किसी तरह की कोई आवाज नहीं आ रही थी सब कुछ वहाँ पर साइलेंट था सारा प्लेस बिल्कुल साइलेंट था एम हेपर जो थे बिल्कुल आगे थे मतलब वहाँ घूम रहे थे इस तरीके से और डोर बिल्कुल खुला हुआ था और आप इस चीज़ का इमेजिन कर सकते हैं कह रहे हैं हाउ आई ब्लस एंड हाई ब्राइटेड कह रहे हैं राइटर जब वहाँ पर पहुँचा था तो वो इतना ज़्यादा कन्फ्यूज था और बहुत ज़्यादा डर था तो इस पैसेज में क्या बता गया इन दिस पैसेज भी क्या से वेन एवर द राइटर बैक टू द स्कूल देर वॉज टू मच वॉइस वॉज देर टू मच <coughs> too much sound was there. The sound was for opening and closing the desk, etc. The sound of the the sound of the students who used to talk there and the sound of the class was there. And there was also the sound of Mr. Hammers. Mr. Hammers always kept with him a one ruler, and simply he put the ruler on the table. That sound always come there. But you know, on that very day, when the writer reached the school. Everything was silent. Why everything was silent? Because there was no student, because there was no other person, and because there was that day. The Sunday, mostly the schools may be the closed. So in the Sunday time, we can say that the writer is there. But everything was as silent as it could be. So you know, when writer is there, writer was very much afraid. He was feeling fear. And why he was feeling fear? Because we can say. That till uh, everything was ter terrible for them. He was imagine. He was thinking over the matter. He cannot imagine. He cannot think uh, what was happened. Why everything is silent? So the writer was very much confused. But nothing happened. Mr. Hammer saw me and said, "Very kindly, go to your place with me, little friends. We were beginning without you." You know, but the reason that Mr. Hammer was there, Mr. Little Friend, that Mr. Hammer was there, so it's a very surprising thing. कह रहा है जब वो वहाँ पर पहुँचता है तो देखता है उसने देखा वहाँ पर क्या देखा था बड़ा काइंडली कि जब वो वहाँ पहुँचता है तो राइटर के मैम है हमने कुछ भी नहीं कहा और सिंपली उसने कहा कि आप अपने प्लेस पे चले जाओ हम जो है आज लेसन आपके बिना ही स्टेट करने स्टार्ट करने वाले थे इसका रीज़न क्या है एक्चुअली मिस्टर मिस्टर लिटिल फ्रेंड्स था राइटर जो था इस बात को समझ रहा था कि मिस्टर हेमंत जो थे हमेशा स्ट्रिक्ट रहते थे मिस्टर हेमंत जो थे हमेशा बहुत स्ट्रिक्ट में बात करते थे जब उन्होंने इस बात को कहा था थोड़ा वो कंफ्यूज हो जाता है मिस्टर लिटिल फ्रेंड कि ऐसा मिस्टर हेमंत ने क्यों कहा कि आप जो आपने प्लेस पर चले जाइए अगर आप इफ यू आर अनेबल टू कम ऑन दैट मेरी प्लेस इफ यू आर अनेबल टू रीच इन द स्कूल फैमिली देन विदाउट यू बी start the lesson so after hearing this very point politely from mr hammers that little friends were also very much surprised i jumped over the bench and down on my grass not till when when i had a little over my friend and i see that our teacher on a beautiful green board is playing kya iske baad mein kya hota hai jaise hi kya hai apni jab main apni bench pe chala jata hu usko sit karta hu jaise liye kya hai when i had little got a little ओवर माय फ्राइट और फिर धीरे जब मैं मुझे थोड़ा डर करने लगता रहता है या मैं अपने डर पे काबू पाने लगता हूँ तो टीचर जो थे हमारे मैंने देखा था वो इतने अच्छे ड्रेस में थे ब्यूटीफुल ड्रेस में थे ब्यूटीफुल ड्रेस में थे हिज फ्री फ्री हिज फ्री स्टार्ट एट द लिटिल ब्लैक शेल कैब इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय नेवर मोर एक्सेप्ट ऑन द इंस्ट्रक्शन एट द ब्लैक शेल बिसाइड द होल स्कूल सेम टू हिज देन एंड सोलोमन बट द थिंग दैट सरप्राइज द मोस्ट वाज टू सी ऑन द Back benches that were always empty, the blaze people sitting quietly like our self, old houser with the three-coloured of the coloured hat. The former mayor, the 
the former postmaster said the results everybody looks at and how some had brought in the old printer thumbed on the edges and he had opened on the page with the great spectacles lying over across the pages and after that you know special miss ma'am ko pata hai and jab and little friend school pahunch ke apne desk pe gaya aur baithe ho gaye to the dil mein jal ka hone lagta hai lekin iske baad mein jo maine dekha tha ki mr hemal hai ke teacher jo hai is baar ka beautiful dress pehne the bahut achhi shirt ya bright red hat wagera pehne the wo ek apne green coat pe gaya hua the iska ye unhone dekha tha ki mostly jo hote mr hemal jo the ye apni jo evening jo dress wagera jo thi hamesha ka pehnte the हमेशा उन ओकेजन में पहनते थे जब इंस्पेक्शन होता था और जब प्राइवेट इंस्टीट्यूशन के डेज में पहनते थे इसके अलावा जो था पूरा का पूरा स्कूल जो था बिल्कुल साइलेंट डे में था सब सीरियस सब कुछ था इस सारी चीजों देखने के बाद में जो होता है और उसके बाद में राइटर पढ़ा जाता उसको बहुत ज्यादा सरप्राइज होता है और जो उसके बाद में क्या होता है कुछ लोग जो है कुछ लेटर्स जो थे बिल्कुल बैक में बैक बेंचेस पे बैठे हुए थे जो खाली पड़ी हुई थी और ये लोग बड़ा साइलेंट साइलेंट बैठे हुए थे इसके बाद में जो हाउजर थे मिस्टर एमल जो एक हेड थ्री बॉटल हेड लगा हुए थे तो आफ्टर रीडिंग दिस वेरी पैसेज वी हैव कम टू नो दैट द 
Mr. Hamel was sitting there, he was very upset and he was not feeling well and everybody was silent and everybody was uh, that uh, everybody was very upset and Mr. Hamel was speaking in a very gentle tone. Why he was speaking very gentle tone? Because he told the reason, because uh, that he told the reason that uh, this that was his last lesson and uh, he was addressing to his jailer, his school jailer, not his school children, but the people who were present in the school, he was he was presenting, he was addressing them that this was his last lesson. After that, there will be no lesson. And after that, what will happen? And after that, because the order has come from the Berlin, and what the order has come? That in in France, two states, Alsace and Lawrence, they will be they will be under the under the order of the German. Prussia has one. Persia has won the war and in this way that after this, after this day only the German will be taught in this very school. So you know Mr. Hamel was very patriotic, Mr. Hamel who loves his country very much. So while he was speaking to the children, to the children he was very attractive and you know <coughs> why he was very sad, why he was very upset. The reason behind it that that after that, after that very day, there will be no French language will be taught in that very school. They have to study only the German language. And you know, they were feeling, Mr. Hamel was not feeling well, and not only Mr. Hamel was feeling very well, but all the people, all the children uh, who belong to France, they were also feeling very upset because their language was going to be snatched. Uh, by the German, by Persia, and in this way they have to live. They have to live a very difficult life. They have to live in a very what we can say. They have to live just like a orphan. Orphan, you know that without parents. Suppose if you are living any place, if uh, we are speaking our language since our childhood, if our language has been spoken since our childhood, and after that anybody has given the order, then since tomorrow that you will not speak in that way like this, then we feel very, very sorry for that because this is our identity, this is our, uh, what we can say, this is our organization. What a final clap these words to me, uh, oh the wretches that was what they put up to the town in my last translation why I hardly want to know, I should never learn anymore, I must stop that. You know that this is also the uh, one lesson for the student when they have got the opportunity. You know, so after when they have got the opportunity, they did not want to learn the language. And after that, you know, after hearing these words of his teacher, Mr. Franz felt very much sorry. Why he was very much sorry? Why he was very upset? The reason for the reason behind is that what when he got the chance, when he had opportunity, then he did not try to learn his language. And now, when another language will be taught from the next day, then he felt very sorry. He was feeling very guilty. The reason behind is that he was always escaping from learning the language. You know that after that, my friends, my friend, my last translation, why I hardly know how to write, I should never learn anymore. I must stop their plan. Oh, how sorry I was for not learning my lesson, for seeking WhatsApps, going, sliding on the saw, my books that had seen such a nuisance. Why? Though so heavy to carry my drama and my history of the saints were also friends now, I thought I couldn't give up and I Mr. Hammer to the idea that he was going away and I should never see him again made me forget all about the ruler and cranky he was. You know that in this very passage we can say Mr. Hammer was about to get that my friends are last lesson of और कह रहे हैं, I hardly know how to write. मेरे कुछ मुश्किल से मुझे इस बात का पता कि कैसे इसे लिखा जाता है। मैंने कभी से तो मिस्टर जो फ्रेंच हैं अपने आप को उसे बड़ा उसका दिन की हो गई, बड़ा दिन की महसूस करता है। क्या रीजन क्या है कि उसने कभी भी शीत की कोशिश नहीं करी। अब उसका जो उसने कोशिश नहीं की थी, अब उसे ऐसे बिल्क कभी कोशिश नहीं की थी, कभी वो वर्ड्स के एक्स को देखता था, कभी जो वो मूवमेंट करता था कौन था सार, सार इतना नहीं हो अंदर ही था, ये भी सार अंदर ही तरफ लगा जाता था, उसकी जो बुक्स लगा रहे थे, उसके लिए कैसे लगते थे, बड़ा खराब लगते थे, उनको नुकसान देने वाले लगते थे, और कह रहे थे कि 
जो उसकी बुक्स वगैरह हैं उनके अलावा हैवी थी उसकी ग्रामर्स बुक्स थी हिस्ट्री के जो सेंट लगा रहे हैं उसके कह रहे हैं ओल्ड फ्रेंड था फ्रेंड के वहाँ कह रहे हैं आप जो सारे वो जो लोग उसको खराब करते थे जो हिस्ट्री के फ्रेंड्स वगैरह होते थे कह रहे हैं आगे कह रहा था कि वो साहब उसको अब बिल्कुल कह रहे हैं आप उसके फ्रेंड्स हैं एंड एमल एमल अगेन मेड फॉरगेट ऑल इज रूलर एंड ट्रेनिंग की वॉज और कह रहे इस तरीके से जो एम एमल उसके लिए स्ट्रिक्ट लगते थे शायद उनको भूलना पड़ेगा उनके लिए बड़ा स्टूपी लगते थे एम एमल शायद वो हमेशा हमेशा के लिए उसके लिए भूलना पड़ेगा तो एट द लास्ट वीक यहाँ से द राइटर मिस्टर रिटिल फ्रेंड्स वॉज फीलिंग वेरी सॉरी वाई ही वॉज फीलिंग वेरी सॉरी बिकॉज ही वॉज अनेबल टू लर्न हिज लेसन वेरी वेल when he had got the opportunity when he was having a lot of time he did not take interest to learn the lesson he was busy in watching the world sacks he was busy in moving on the river saw etc and he simply he was busy in taking the enjoyment of the natural of the things but when he did not have the opportunity when he will when he did not get the chance for tomorrow to learn this new language then what will happen that simply he has to forget all his lessons he has forget all the grammar books he has forget all the books which were which he used to feel the burden on his shoulders but now he was very very sorry for that he wanted to say that all these very history saints were his friends all the grammar books all the books which were he which he used to feel just like a enemy but now all these very books and all the history saints were just like a friend and now he was willing to study now he was willing to study those very books and on the last lesson on the end point on the time of the last lesson he was very attentive and he was very clearly learned the things and you know our this very lesson has been broken into two parts first part is completed thank you student and next time we will study next part thank you very much